Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. So basically, I'm going to get right into it. Last Sunday, I went to a day brunch party and this is the look that I created. I filmed it the first round, but the quality came out so bad, so I had to refilm it and put it on my channel because so many of you guys was giving me such great positive comments on it, and I wanted to share with you how I achieved it. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, continue to watch. But first, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, share, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. You know, might as well just come on, join the family. Okay, so yeah, so get comfy and let's get right into it. So I added a new step to my eyebrow routine and I'm going in with the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel and I'm just going to set my eyebrows so that they don't move while I apply my eyebrow product. And I find this to be very helpful because I have curly eyebrows so with them being set it just makes my eyebrow application so much easier. So now to clean up my eyebrows, I'm just going in with the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 360. And I'm applying a little bit more than usual because I did not pluck my eyebrows and my unibrow is definitely growing in. <laughs> so you have to cover that up. And I'm just going to blend that out with a um, eyebrow brush and my Real Technique sponge. And to prime my face, I'm just going in with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. You know, this is not new to my channel. I absolutely love this primer. And I apply this, I actually apply all over my face, but I mostly um, apply it to the center, the T-zone area, because that's where my pores are the largest. And now to color correct and hide any dark circles or any discoloration on my face, I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade um, Apricot. Yeah, yes, yeah, Apricot. <laughs> I absolutely love this one. At first, I was using the LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Orange. That was a little bit too orange on my skin. This one is absolutely perfect. Like, it blends in so nicely with my skin complexion. And for my absolute favorite, this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 385. And again, this is not new to my channel. Like if you guys have been watching my videos, you know how much I love this foundation. It just blends out so nicely and it's like a skin-like finish. And I got foundation on my eyebrow. <laughs> When it happened, I was like, what am I going to do? Oh my gosh, how am I going to fix this? But it was like one, two, three, a quick little fix. <laughs> and that's the thing like I'm learning and loving about makeup. It's so easy to make a mistake, but then it's so easy to just correct it. And I'm just going to use my Real Technique sponge to blend that out. And listen, my sponge has been through World War III and back, okay? Like, living to tell the story. It is ripped up, just beat up. Ugh, I need a new one. <laughs> And going back in with the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 360, I'm just going to conceal all the places that need to be concealed, <laughs> which is under your eyes, bridge of your nose, um, sometimes your forehead. I'm going to conceal my forehead and I conceal my chin and on the lower outer corners of my lip. 
And now that I'm getting a lot more comfortable with my makeup process and journey, I use a lot more concealer. Not like a whole lot, but I'm not afraid of it anymore. <laughs> I used to be a little, little nervous when it came to the concealers, but you know, I put a lot more um, in the crevices, like under my eyes, and I also like drag it out a lot more as well. And I just noticed that it gives me a lot more coverage, and that's what I like. I like how it comes out. And now going in with the Fenty Beauty Contour Matchstick. This is the shade Truffle. And just gonna contour the hollows of my cheek. Make this forehead a bit smaller. <laughs> and my jawline. And just wanna blend, blend, blend. The importance of blending, okay? <laughs> Get into it. Learn it, study it, memorize it, apply it. <laughs> Just look how natural this finishes. When I say I love Fenty, I love Fenty, okay? And I promise I'm not being biased because Rihanna is my sister, but I love Fenty, okay? And my absolute favorite part is setting everything into place, bringing everything together. And I'm using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Honestly, I've tried other setting powders. Um, what was the last one that I used? I think it was the makeup. Yeah, Makeup Revolution. That's a nice one, but the yellow in the Sasha Buttercup, like it just, it just doesn't do me wrong. Like I just love it. And going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder Kit, I'm just using those two dark shades and setting everywhere that I contoured. And you know, these products aren't new to my channel at all. When I have my foundation routine and I find things that work for me, I stick to it. You know, I might like tweak it here and there, but it's going to take a lot for me to stray away from these main products, especially when it comes to like face products. And now it's time to drown in some Urban Decay setting spray. <laughs> Gonna set all of those powders in together. So jumping into the eyes, I'm using the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. And we do have a Fallen Soldier, <laughs> rest in peace. But I'm gonna be using the shade Royal Prerogative as a crease color as a transition shade. Now this eye is actually gonna be very simple. I only used two shades and I wanted to focus this video more on my foundation routine, but this eye just came out so nice. Like, it's like a two-in-one tutorial and it's super easy. So for my lid shade, I'm going in with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and this is in the shade Ladybird. First of all, I don't know why it took me so long to get my hands on these ColourPop eyeshadows because they are so nice. Like they literally feel and go on like butter and the pigmentation is just like to die for. It's so pretty. But one thing that I do have to say, these are best applied with your finger. Unfortunately, I have nails so I can do like but so much. And I kind of experimented with like the flat brush to see if it'll work as well. It kind of did, but the best payoff is applying it with your finger. And then I went in with a blending brush to just make sure there's no harsh lines and everything is blended in well. And now going back in with the Queen of Hearts palette, I'm using that first shade, Royal Prerogative, and I'm just going to apply that to my crease again. Mm -hmm. 
and bam we are coming together <laughs> i stepped off camera and applied wing liner and lashes and now i'm just gonna bronze my face using the milani baked bronzer and the shade sole and using the milani baked blush i'm going in with the shade rose d'oro I absolutely love their bronzers and blushes like they are just so pretty and they complement darker toned skin very nicely. And to finish the eyes I'm going in with the Sugar Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm taking the shade Butterscotch and I'm running that along the lower lash line and this is just going to give me that awake glowy look. And I'm just applying some more of the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel just to make sure that everything is in place. And now it's time to blind you guys. <laughs> I'm going back in with the Sugar Glow Kit and I'm using the same shade butterscotch and I'm applying that on the highest of my cheekbones and just look at that glow oh my god it's gonna be so pretty in the spring summer pictures I'm coming for y'all y'all better watch out and I love to apply it on the tip and bridge of my nose the inner tear duct eyebrow bone and a little bit above my eyebrows now this is my ultimate glow like it looks very natural, no harshness, looks very goddess-like. When that light hits, especially natural light, it is just going to complement it so well, okay? Now time for lips. I'm going in with the Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick in the shade um, Wicked. Yeah, Wicked. This is absolutely a beautiful red wine kind of color and it's matte like it is matte okay so I was being so careful applying this because one little slip up oh my god but you definitely do not need more than two coats like you barely even need to like I just want to be extra and make it like very bold so I did two coats do not do more than two because then it might crack and start flaking and you don't want that. Here's the final look, you guys. It's so pretty. It's just like a, a nice luminous. Oh yeah, that the sun is gonna. Uh, this look is just such a classy look, especially with the shimmer on the eyes and then the pop of that wine red look can't go wrong can't go wrong but yes this is the final look i really hope that you guys enjoyed please leave a thumbs up comment please let me know what else you guys want me to bring to the channel what would you like to see and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video thanks